Hello, welcome to West Ham. Oi, oi, with me, Alf Gasparo on Irons United. So, what a week it's been in the West Ham world. Yes, we all traipsed off to the London Stadium on Saturday uh, to entertain Southampton. And uh, we gave them a damn good thrashing, didn't we? Yes, uh, we sent them back down to the south coast with their tails between their legs, and uh, we were victorious. And the squad even gave us a little lap of honour uh, at the end, which was really nice and a really good turnout by a lot of the fans who stayed behind as well. Actually, a good turnout all, all in all, I would say, uh, for the final home game of the season. Uh, I, I was thinking that maybe quite a few fans would kind of not go or leave early to go to the uh, FA Cup final for the women. Sadly, they lost, unfortunately, but what a great effort by those ladies as well. Uh, but no, I think we were all having a great time and, and uh, many fans, or most fans, decided to stay, which was a result. Look, I've got to hold my hand up here. I thought it was going to be a bit of a tough day at the office. I thought that we were going to struggle against Southampton and I wasn't alone. I know there are other people who thought exactly the same. But other people actually predicted that it was going to be a, a bit of a, a romp, and it was. Um, let's face it, you could say that it was kind of 50-50 in terms of the final third opportunities, goal scoring opportunities, but they were a bit limp pristed in the final third. We weren't. We took our opportunities. We scored three. They scored nil. Kind of says it all, really. But, you know, but they weren't, Southampton weren't as bad as the scoreline uh, would suggest, and possibly we weren't as rampant as uh, the scoreline would suggest. However, I would say that we could have scored a few more as well. Look, who were, who were the top notch uh, players for me? Well, and Artovich came back to his best. I thought he had a decent game all in all. He wasn't fantastic by any stretch of the imagination, but do you know what? He put himself there. He worked for the team. He was showing all the time. He was running, you know, making runs. What more can you ask for? So he got man of the match, but for me, he wouldn't have gone. And, and the reason why I would give it to Ryan Fredericks because I thought he had a fantastic game. He had made some great interceptions, great passes, great running forward, great overlapping runs, always looking for the ball on the right side. Yeah, a couple of times his delivery wasn't great, but he came with that third goal as well. So I would give it to him. Closely, closely followed by Mr. West Ham himself, uh, Mark Noble. You know, as I say, in the past, like a lot of us, we have uh, criticised, uh, you know, Mark Noble for his sort of performances. But time and time again, he kind of proves everybody wrong. And he, I, I say all the time, he's the only one that we have in midfield who looks for that early, early forward pass, early killer pass, you know, to break the defences. And Altovich has obviously been listening to some of my videos because he was also looking for those early diagonal balls as soon as from the wing as soon as entering the final third. I think he put one through for Antonio a couple of times. You know, he fluffed his lines, but you know, you know, Antonio I thought had a quiet game, but it wasn't a bad game. You know, it was just just a bit of a quiet game. Masuaku, I'm usually you know having a right go at I thought he had a decent game as well yeah he had a you know a couple of weird passes wayward passes but again other times he you know and he grew into the game he got better as the game went on all in all I thought we did well you know Diop uh, Balbuena at the back solid Fabianski again solid as a rock we were just good all over weren't we you know Southampton tried a little bit First 15 minutes of the second half, I thought, oh, you know, they might pull one back here. But no, we held firm. We defended well. It was a great performance, uh, all in all. It was great to be at Stow Space uh, for the West Ham Supporters Club before the game. Um, it was great sort of walking around the stadium before. Uh, met up with a couple of people. Uh, and so I mean, that was good there as well. Um, so it's always good to meet people. It's always good to speak to new people, you know, the supporters club, whatever. So uh, that was good. Um, you know, hopefully next season we'll have a lot more great days. But I think, you know, Saturday was a great... We've had two great results on the back of decent, some decent performances that, you know, we didn't get the points or we, or we drew. So I think, you know, it's a lot to be hopeful for. 
But we all know our big problem has been consistency this season. We've had a better season than last season. We've had a better season than the season before. And certainly in points-wise, not necessarily in position-wise. Uh, but we, we, could, we can do better. We can definitely do better. If we got our players, uh, you know, remaining fit, if we get rid, uh, which we will, we will shed some of the, those players that haven't performed uh, well for the last few seasons. You know the ones I'm on about. If we can bring in some key players, I think we're going to be a force to be reckoned with. I'm not talking tops or I'm, I'm not being daft like that. But what I am talking about is seventh, ch challenging for fifth or sixth position. I think we can do it, you know, but it comes down to consistency. It comes down to our top players, our creative players as well, being consistent. Anderson just has not been consistent enough this season. Lanzini, we missed most of the season, but he had a decent game. I thought he was quiet a lot, a lot of periods in, game, in the game on Saturday, but he also had some great touches as well. We still have a problem going forward at pace and, you know, we kind of slow it down a bit too much at times. We need to be a little bit more decisive. We sometimes want to try and walk the, back, the, wall, uh, the ball in the back of the net, so we need to work on that. But all in all, defensively, we were great. Midfield, we held strong and we were kind of getting better in the final third. Is that because Southampton didn't really turn up? You know, they weren't much of an opposition in terms of quality? Possibly. Um, but, you know, neither team had a lot to play for. Only position. Uh, nothing really. We, we're both safe. We weren't and we're not going to make Europe. So what can you say? But it was a great result. You know, hats off to the lads for sending us home, you know, feeling happy. Great to see the, you know, the squad with the family and the kids all walking around the pitch at the end of the game. Everybody went home with a smile on their face, you know. It was commitment, it was desire, there was passion and there was quality and a great performance. That's, that's all you can say. This has been the West Ham Oyoi Show. Uh, Watford next week. Hopefully we'll come out with a result there. I think we might actually. Um, you know, my prediction isn't the great. And that's why I never bet, by the way, because I'm just useless at this. Sometimes I get it right just by luck of the time. Most of the time I get it wrong. I think we're going to do well against Watford. I think they're going to be looking at the FA Cup. So hopefully, like, you know, that'll set us up for the summer to, you know, go out into the transfer market, go out on a high, and then hopefully kick on for next season and start with... A, you know a good start to the season which we didn't have this season as well you know we can do it we can do it it's just about finding the right formula and getting the players to you know be consistent on a regular basis anyway that's me rambling on I've had enough of me I've, I've even had enough of me rabbiting on so catch you on the next video whenever that is uh, and I'll probably see you next uh, next season at the London Stadium somewhere if you want to become a member of uh, West Ham Supporters Club go check them out on the website uh, the meet you know for every match day at uh, the Stour Space which is just on the west side of the uh, of the stadium uh, so uh, subscribe to Irons United because they're really cool still official well official unofficial partner with Umbro I don't know uh, but you know it's, it's great that uh you know, Umbro has still been uh, uh, chosen as the shirt provider for the next couple of years. You know, it, 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 we'll see what happens in the next couple of years. At the end of the day, they made they made some half decent shirts. I'll be very interested to see what the next design is actually. And I, I wasn't too sure about this season's shirt. The home sh shirt I liked, the away shirt I didn't like, and the third kit I really didn't like at all. Let's see what happens for next season. Anyway, up the hammers. Catch you on the next video. Ta-da.